this is our Harvard Union visit. Harvard Union has done some amazing things. It's in Washington County. It's a high school in Washington County. I'm here with Bob McNamara, who's the former superintendent of this school system. And Bob, uh, I'm hoping you can tell the story of when you were a superintendent and what had happened with the meal program and some of the changes you chose to make. The problem we were faced with was um, that we were over $100,000 in debt. The board member knew somebody who was a professional restaurateur and who was uh, known for his ability to do analysis on, on restaurants, not on school cafeteria. And um, what what we did was the board decided they wanted to invest in that person to have him come and take The school board got really involved. We had um, this process called study circles, which brought community members into the school to talk about climate and communication and the curriculum of Harvard Union. And the number one issue for parents and students was climate was the cafeteria and the food being served. And we have all these great local farms and uh, people in the area that can contribute to the school. And they said, we need to tap into this resource. And that's what we did. We put together a committee and um, tried to find uh, somebody who could do that. And we found this guy. Right now, um, they came out $22,000 in the black. They actually made money. Um, and this is over a span of how many years? Uh, I want to say it would be maybe six, mm -hmm. six or seven years. So six years. years, they've totally turned the program around, they have kids participating, and they're out of debt right. by $100,000, and this year they were in the black by twenty two. Yeah, when I saw this opportunity, I thought it was a, a good chance to kind of get involved with schools. Um, I'd seen kind of what my kids were eating at school, and they were involved in elementary school at the time, and I wasn't overly excited about it. Um, when I saw that, when I met with consultants Paul and Wayne about this position, the fact that they wanted to cook from scratch, use local ingredients, and try to feed more kids, um, it seemed like a really good challenge. And it's fun. So you've changed the system here so much that the kids almost expect high quality food and when, I think they do. And continue to yeah. say what they want. Yeah. And I think some of the things that Paul is doing now is really trying to reach out into the curriculum. Mm and doing those aspects as well. Uh, but before you had a good, if you didn't have a good food program, you really didn't have the credibility to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, he really does, so that when uh, so the students consult on the food, so on and so forth. And the cafeteria then is really serving as a learning lab to help the eating for the rest of these kids. As lives. it should. As it should. I mean, you know, everything, I, I've always been an adherent that everything that school systems do should be about learning. And um, so that's what's going on. So let's go eat. I know, let's go eat. <laughs> this is my Harwood Union lunch. Uh, I have local uh, potato salad, a green salad that has beets and apples and local greens, tofu, misty knoll chicken, a maple muffin that was made here, and some strawberries, which um, which are not part of the local warm meal, but I had to take them because I love strawberries. So in your, um, yours as principal, have you seen hunger in this community and in this school? I definitely know of um, students who struggle on a daily basis uh, with food issues, not having enough food, not having any food at all. And so um, I've seen that every year that I've been here. Absolutely. So what, what are some of the hardest times for those kids? Well, recently it's been more because of the economic downturn. Um, in the summer, I think, is the hardest time, quite frankly, because there's no school meal possibility for students, and the school closes down. So I think that's probably the hardest time. Monday morning, see if these kids come in tired, hungry. But then coming here is just like a, almost a good shock, a really good shock, because you, I wouldn't find this even at home for lunch. I don't think I could ever see this place for me at lunch in my own house, so it's good. When we first started, there was a lot of processed stuff. I mean, the real, the main change we made was get rid of processed food and cook from scratch. And then add as many local ingredients as we could. I think the key is cooking from scratch, getting rid of all the processed food. Um, we had Pop-Tarts, Pringles, Tasty Cakes, all that kind of stuff. And we got rid of probably three quarters of it. If you don't offer it, you don't have to worry about it, really. Recently, due to Chef Paul, uh, the food's been a lot, a lot better, a lot healthier. Um, the local war, obviously, is a big deal. So, it's, it's 
fresh, it's good. I have no complaints. I eat it every day. So. Breakfast and lunch? Uh, breakfast and lunch, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first year that Gary, the sous chef, and I were here, we had a thousand pounds of root vegetables donated by Pete's Greens. So we had root vegetables all different ways. Oh. You'll get to just try those. And, you know, they're, our main goal was to try to get the trust of the students so that they could trust what they're trying, and I think we've been pretty successful. But our discipline rates for a lot of behaviors in the building went down. We had very few instances in the cafeteria. Um, I mean, quite frankly, I think the, the cafeteria from just being a, a, a part of the school became a part of the school, so I think kids really know the, the good work that Paul does, and they really are proud of the cafeteria and the school. And, Kids always talk about how awesome our cafeteria is, and it really is. It's been a great uh, center of the school. What do you think the school food uh, program does for the culture of your school? No, I think it's 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 really unique in that uh, I don't think many schools I, I don't think many schools can brag about their lunch program and really be able to just tell people like, yeah, I love our lunch and like actually look forward to eating even even if they have leftovers. It's still like 